What's good, yo? My name is Ganso and welcome to another tutorial in FL Studio 12. Today I am going to show you how I sidechain my beats. There are multiple ways to do it, however I will show you two ways and I will tell you which one I do it all the time because it's easier and more practical. So, we have our beat here, I will show you how it sounds without any sidechaining, then I will add the sidechain. As you can hear, the kick is not that punchy, you can't hear it that good over the piano, so let's fix that. First of all, I will show you the easiest way and the way I prefer and I always use in my beats. And this is by going to another track in the, in the mixer thing, an empty track which I didn't use. Onto the slot 1 I will add fruity peak controller, then I will go to the, the layer of my kick, which is the first layer. Now that we know where our kick is, we are just going to link the kick to the peak controller layer, which is on 15. So I'm just going to hover my mouse over 15, point it down and click on the arrow that's pointing up. Now the kick is linked to the peak controller, which is almost everything we gotta do. Now we are going to find the piano layer. This is the first one. I'm going to right click on the volume thing, link to controller. I'm going to set the internal controller to peak control peak and the mapping formula to inverted accept as you can see the volume controller went up which is not good however we still need to link the other sounds to the peak controller and again we are going to do the same thing with the second sound link to controller peak control and peak and mapping formula to inverted however after you will add a second sound to the peak controller probably this remove conflicts thing will be checked uncheck it make sure to uncheck it because otherwise it will fuck up the sidechain and now the third sound which is on insert 8 we are going to do the exact same thing peak inverted accept now that we have our our sounds set to peak control it's time to actually modify the peak controller from the layer that we link the kick to. Click on Fruity Peak Controller and change the bass until these match the other ones. So it should be around 20%. How you see the percentage? While you hover your mouse over the bass or over another knob, you will see here a percentage or here it depends on the knob so as you can see I'm hovering the mouse over base now I'm going to click it and move it up a bit and there it shows me the percentage and we will change the volume and let's see how it sounds as you can see the volume is not good so let's fix it while we are listening to the song so we have a live response to what we are doing So about 15% should do the trick. And that's about it for the first method. This is the easiest one, it's automatic, you don't have to do what we are going to do in the second method. Keep in mind, this method is not the one that I will choose over the first method, because it's not that practical and it takes a bit of time to make it sound alright. Again, we need to know which layers are the sounds. I'm going to control click on one of them, then click on the others, so we only have the sounds. So, insert 5, insert 6 and insert 8 are the sounds we are going to sidechain. We are going to the insert 16 which is again empty. We are just gonna right click on one of them. Let's start with the first sound. Create automation clip. Enable it. And we are going to see where's the kick. So, here's the kick. We are just going to add a point. Make sure it's on 79% because that's the default percentage for volume. And add another one where the kick ends. Place this down and add another one at 79%. And this is how it should sound. 
as you can hear, we basically sidechain but only the first one. And you have to do this with every single kick for every single sound. And that's why I'm not going to continue using this method because it's impractical. But that's about it with how I sidechain. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to press that subscribe button and that like button because it really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.